All right, now that we've done some examples of the valence shell expansion, let's do some more. Let's draw the Lewis dot diagram for XeO2F2, and we'll spot you the central atom as being xenon. So here is our uh, skeletal structure, xenon in the middle, oxygen, oxygen, fluorine, and fluorine. Uh, oxygen has eight, ox xenon has eight, oxygen has six, fluorine has seven. That gives us a total of 34 electrons. Let's put single bonds around. We have a single bond between oxygen and xenon and the fluorines. Uh, that only used a total of eight electrons. We started with 34. We have 26 left. We have 13 lone pairs. 13 lone pairs. Let's put them around. We can put them around fluorine and oxygen. That looks good. Uh, this accounts for 12 because we've got uh, three on each of the fluorines and three on the oxygens. So where do we put the last lone pair? Hmm, we can put it on xenon and that'll expand its octet. So let's put it on xenon. There we go. We've expanded the octet. Yes, we've used up 12 lone pairs, all 24, by putting a lone pair on xenon. There we go. Now let's take a look at the formal charges. When we look at our formal charges, the formal charge on xenon, eight minus two minus a half of eight is plus two. Formal charge on oxygen, six valence electrons minus six electrons and lone pair, minus a half of two is minus one. Uh, formal charge on fluorine, we have uh, seven, group seven, minus six electrons and lone pairing, minus a half of two, that equals zero. Okay, so that leads us with uh, three atoms that have non-zero formal charges. Huh, let's see if we can reduce the formal charge on oxygen. We can reduce the formal charge on oxygen to zero by taking that single bond and making it a double bond. When we do that, we now have a formal charge on each of the um, oxygens, and we also have a formal charge on xenon. So that gives us the best Lewis structure.